Hello everyone, it's Podcast Edo, and before we begin the part two of the special behind the scenes, we got the shout out is Karara and Rafi for his 30th anniversary song that will be playing right now, so please enjoy this special. Hang up. Banana phone. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Intel has told us there were at least seven. Look, I already see one given. Okay. They're the same picture. Talking fun with Edo Podcast. Hello, everyone. It's Podcast Edo back at it again with another video. And welcome to the the main channel? Oh, right, right. This is the April Fool's Day special. So, as usual, uh, enjoy this episode. So, here we go. Hello, everyone. It's Podcast Edo. And before we begin this part of the part two of the sixth anniversary special, we gotta play this sound right here that goes as... Yep, because this is this is definitely gonna be like a serious topic, and also at the same time, you know, this is gonna be another self talk episode that we got, and I know it's been a while since I've done one, and this is definitely going to be a part four of this of what's been going on recently, and more a little bit more of like the behind the scenes of uh, not only that but also. The sixth anniversary too so i would say definitely before we get to that this is the part four of the self-talk episode last one was fake channels of the internet shutting down part two and before we move any further it's gonna be a little bit more of explanation with my friend downheart with a freestyle that's happening right now here we go and then whenever you wear the mask of normalcy, you will see that you are a formerly disorganized individual. Get critical on the MIC because I'm an imbecile, you see, on the TV as a true MC. <laughs> I don't know, something... I mean that was that was pretty good. That was that was pretty good. I, I, I guess so. I don't know, but I was just trying a little bit. Differently, I, I went at it from a different angle. I don't know what the heck I was doing, but it was. It was experimenting. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Part, but how you been, man? I've been pretty good. Uh, just uh, <coughs> excuse me. Just finished up an interview uh earlier today. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, no, no. It's uh, I'm like gonna release a new one like on next Saturday. Uh, yeah, I, I know, but I saw the most recent one. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, speaking of which, uh, uh, I was wondering, uh, oh, wait, by the way, are you in California yet? Not yet. Okay. I still raise enough for that. I, I might want to even, like, take off a lot sooner, depending on how things go. I hope you all enjoy that first freestyle. We got two more coming up. And so, as far as the late uploads go, uh, what's been happening is that even from this next thing that's going to be coming up, it's going to be a little bit late than usual, because um, for more on that, here we go again, is now a part two of this, uh, explain a little bit more, and then we're going to get to more of the explanation, so... Here we go once again. I got a ratchet, hatchet. I'm going to use it and stash it deep up in the woods because I'm up to no good and I'm wearing a hood D looking for some good D's. Yo, I see girls with them spankies. Oh, dangy. They look like a fucking hanky panky. I don't know, man. You can't paint me a perfect picture because I'm just a 
ill mixture of chemicals on a lower pedestal, but I get technical and I am the incredible Hulk. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> no, it's kind of dope. That was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Yeah. So, have you been making up any music lately, or what? Uh, not yet specifically. I know I'm gonna be doing that like around like my birthday month and stuff. At least, but like by like at least the summertime, I should be like finishing it up because that's the point where I would be reaching uh, the Q and A parts again. There might be an uh, an early one coming for like somebody else. It's uh, uh, if you remember the giant episode, it was one of uh Howard's friend, and um, I haven't really told him yet, but that's gonna be like a surprise. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's what the music part will come in a little later, but yeah, for, as for now, I've been uh, working on some podcasts and other stuff is uh. I think I got, uh, I have like a dental appointment, so I gotta do that again. <laughs> Dude, when it gets more musical, like when you when you add more things to it, I guarantee you'll have more success. Oh yeah, especially most definitely, do, yeah. Especially if you do like a freestyle thing, like for people that want to do it, you mm. know, like that'll be really legit. And you know, like don't pay, don't pressure nobody into doing it. Like just make right. them feel comfortable. Be like. Yo, you want to do something for me? Like, you know, make, perform some of your best music for me uh, live on this? And then, you know, people would go like, wow, man, this is crazy. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. have a great night, my friend. Uh, yo, yo, check it. One last freestyle to close the day. I'm about to get you a flavor like a yoga parfait. And I got a lot of heart today. You know why I'm in, man. I'm in downtown Fort Walton Beach and I preach just like a preacher. I am a wizard teacher of the wizardry. You know that I'm in the trees creeping up on you, sleuthing like a peeping tom. Yo, I'm creeping, mom, so don't try to act like you don't know what I'm doing because I'm just screwing on the microphone and I'm chilling with the skeleton bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a great night, man. Bye. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. Good night, Lau. <laughs> wow. I hope that you enjoyed that. That explained it a little more, but... Now I'm going to explain it more and more and more. So basically back at the time when I was doing the uh, 48th and 49th episode with James Dell and also with the other Mariah, I was setting it up for um, two months ago because that's when this will be released is um, in April. Is uh, two months ago, I was actually supposed to get uh, my dental appointment to take out my adult teeth, but at that same time, my credit wasn't really in order, so there was a bit of a lot of waiting time for that to happen, and it's uh, my appointment kept being delayed, delayed, and delayed more. And also going back on a James Dell episode is that um, I know for my New Year's special for. Pretty much my first video of the main channel. There was going to be lots of stuff that was going to happen, which is the freestyle. And even not only that with the freestyle, but also um, there was a few other things that was there and it couldn't really happen. Not even because of the situation of uh, me and uh, Downhart, but also, you know, the dentist appointment thing had to happen. And even there was just like, Lots of more work I had to do, not with just the podcast, but again, with this whole dental situation. So that's how that came to be. But also another thing I feel like I got to explain for sure is um, for my part one of my sixth anniversary is that I made a statement where I said that basically that anime wasn't really a mistake. You know, and really, you know, more, more, a little more information like from my book, but even, you know, 
my big plan for not only just this year, but more years coming forward is I want to really like make an anime of my own. And I also want to say like everything that basically the creators of anime and lots of stuff that symbolized from it, I say it wasn't a mistake because I'm, I'm happy it's there because my big thing is, is that it's the first thing I know it's a cliche thing, but it is true. It is the first thing that literally made me understand Japanese culture. And then once I start from there, I start with the music. I start understanding the culture more and even the rules. And I know, you know, the other thing is my big idea, not only to make a show like based off of that, but also, you know, to go to the place of origins too. And that, may happen one day, maybe this year or maybe later years. So that's why I said my explanation of that. And, you know, like, I, I stand by it because it is literally the first thing that made me understand different cultures was cartoons. I know, like I said, it's not specifically a cartoon. It's a completely different thing. And Lots of people have lots of different things that brings their culture together. And for me, it was literally looking at anime. And literally, I like I said, I I really also do feel from this YouTuber right here that explained the story of the workers that work in this place. And, you know, it is, it's a messed up situation that they're going through that. Like, literally, like, As much as even like to be a voice actor and voice actresses, it's it it's crazy to it's like you have to gotta you have to you gotta have a voice to do something, and then at the same time you have to draw those set things. But then for them, it's like they gotta draw it a lot of times. I do understand that every job comes with a difficulty, but I know for this one, that one is completely messed up. Like I said. This video right here will give you more explanation of it. Like, this is definitely going to be for view of description and recommended from Podcast Seto. And I would say from this point forward, we can now move on to the last part of me and Down Hard kicking a freestyle and I think a little bit more explanation. So here we go. in the moment because my love is just like a potion it's more about the motion of my ocean don't you know it don't you know that i'm the best mc dr ed could ever be and i'm like a birds and breeze up in the midst of a uh, jungle yo i'm never humble i'm going rumble rumble like king kong you know what the flow that i be on i be on for the pee on and i lots up just like neon oh my god man we strong How you gotta think that I'm not the dopest? I'm the one that type, the one that's ripe, the one that's fresh, the one that will go through your flesh and that is so thresh. Ooh. That, now that, that was fire, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm just practicing. You know, I mean, you're yeah, doing just, a great job, though. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm really practicing right now. Um, <laughs> You know, my key is just to keep doing at it. You know, don't don't worry about what people are gonna think. Right, right, right. Yeah. Man, dude, I just wish that we could be together right now and just make some music, but we're far away. Yeah, I know. Far than we think. I know. I know. We are farther than we think we are. You're, you're all the way in Louisiana, and I'm in Florida. Right. Yeah. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, my mom says I have to have seven grand in the bank before I move out. Okay. To California, so. Wait, you gotta have what now? Seven grand in the bank before I move to California. Seven grand? What? Seven grand. Yeah, because uh, it she is... wants me. She wants my life to be like set. Yeah, know, yeah. Struggle. I see. That's wow. a reasonable amount. I don't. I'm, I mean, that's my mom. So. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Well, later. Bye. Yeah, later, man. Bye. <laughs> man. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the, that last moment with me and Down Heart. 
And for new projects that's coming up is, like I said, I'm going to do my best to um, do more interviews and more episodes that's coming up. And also, also the big thing, like I said before, at least one of the promise that is definitely happening from my first video of 2024 for my main channel is I am doing the Q&A. Don't, don't you worry. Like that is still going to happen of the Q&A and also the anniversary special of my podcast. So that's, so that is all still coming up. So there's nothing to really worry about from there. And also my next interview that's coming up, it's going to be with the producer, artist, and the top Asian winner of this year, CJ, that is a big friend of H Dubs from my giant and Nikki Pimps episode slash report. And that's gonna be in the next episode. And also I'm gonna be adding something new to that, which will probably you probably you guys will possibly will see it from the post. For the episode as well, and even editing Edo will give me a little bit of something here as well. And um, shout outs that I want to put for this is not only just so what was there before, but also um, you know, once again, down heart, um, side pops, and zip, and there will be more shout outs along with this. But this is also shout outs I want to add as well before we get to the main part and my conclusion i want to give to you guys is that um i hope you guys enjoyed this special i hope this was meaningful and i hope i explained as much as i can for this i want i know i wanted to do something really really different for this and i'm not really sure if this specific part is going to go for the podcast episode or my main channel type of thing. I'm not sure. But like I said, editing Edo will help me on that. And um, the thing I've been seeing a lot is like lots of YouTubers saying that they're quitting. And I just want to let you all know that even though this situation of my dentist thing for this, this specific tooth again is like going to take me out for a bit. I'm literally going to say I will never stop. I've, I've never said I will quit. I will, speaking of which, of uh, my, you know, my my book again, Who Am I For Real, Growing Up With Edel Part 1. Reason why I brought this out, not just because of the anime is not a mistake explanation, but also... Also, on I know for the summer is that that's another thing that is coming up from the New Year's type of thing I made for this year is I will definitely finish up the audiobook thing for the June. And like I said, new projects is coming up. And like I said before, I'm not I'm not going to quit. I know this type of thing is going to take a while for another episode that's coming out. And I I am sorry that I have to like kind of leave a bit for a while because I know for a minute, not only just for my podcast self, but for main channel, I've been we've been missing in action. And listen, it, it was literally it literally it was this this thing of dentist appointment and just trying to get it all right but you know thankfully I wasn't alone in that my parents helped me out helped me out to get that settled and you know reiterate once again I'm not going to stop I'm going to come right back in the month of April and May take a little break but I would tell you this by June I'm going to have some new ideas. And also, from my main channel, uh, I explain like a bit of what the next stuff coming. So that's going to be coming at the same time for more content and more stuff coming your way. So, you know, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this mix of April Fool special. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day. Hope 
all of this, like I said before, explained everything of what's been going on. And now, like I said before, I'm going to be coming back to all you guys soon. And as usual, thank you all for listening and goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed this special. And for the special April Fool's mix-up, the shout-outs that we got, we have is Dome Master, Bonbon623, The Intrusive Thoughts, Camille, Hydraulic Beanbag, Something About Chicken, Celestial Sunshine, Music by Beatbox, Pouty, Ehe, Gage Anu, Princess, Tribe Louie, The Girl Taku Podcast, Bishal, Milady Confetti, RG33, Zeus's VTuber, Tommy G, and an up and coming musical artist named Matt Casula. Thank you all for enjoying this special, and like usual, I'm gonna see you next time. Goodbye! Talking fun with Ed.